town planning has become more important than ever, especially during a bit more challenging economic times, sales teams have to just be better prepared to understand the customer's business challenges and being able to map their own solutions directly to the pain points of their customers in a thoughtful way. And that's critical for identifying cross-selling and upselling existing install base customers and really as a new driver of growth. And so as a critical part of any strategic account plan, there's an element of a white space map. And think of this as an addressable market visualization within a particular account. Especially in organizations that have many product lines, a lot of different geographies, maybe an overlay go-to-market motion, white space mapping becomes truly the best way to visualize and align on a sales campaign across an organization. So People AI recently introduced automated account planning suite with white space maps that makes it easy for sales teams to collaborate within the account record natively in the CRM, but now with a white space map so that sellers can easily identify which departments within that account there may be an opportunity to sell into, which makes it easier to do that cross-sell, upsell uh, opportunity. So it's really truly about ensuring teams maximize the total addressable market within an account. But better than just explaining this, I think the best thing to do is let Stephanie show you this because it's an incredible demo. Absolutely. Good idea, Thomas. As mentioned, during those challenging economic times, it's more important than ever to retain your current customers. To do so, you need to ensure you're delivering the original value promised and solving the customer's pain. This is what account planning was built for. Hashtag relationship goals. Imagine you're an account executive or customer success manager approaching a renewal with a current customer Zoom. Your account plan lives natively in Salesforce, allowing you to continue to live and breathe in the tools you've already adopted to capture your current customer's business initiatives and execute against them. In seconds, you or a leader can visualize the current account health. Where are you excelling within the account in green? And where are your gaps or risks highlighted in yellow and red? Here, your go-to-market team can work intimately and efficiently off the same information to go ahead and close out those gaps or risks to minimize the possibility of a breakup. For example, in order to protect your renewal, go ahead and lean into those previous initiatives described. Now is the time to not only validate them, but see if there's any additional initiatives that you can uncover and then tie your solution to. To do so, I recommend tagging an executive to help you navigate those conversations. And you can do that right here in account plans with a native Salesforce task. Next, let's showcase our recent enhancements within account plans. First up, team members. Continuing to delight and maintain your current install base is a team effort. No one should go at this alone. Gain visibility with minimal clicks into your account plan. When were individuals added to the account plan? What role do they play? And what date did they last access? Since you're approaching your renewal, now is a great time to get your sales engineer and regional vice president involved. Next, actions. Remember that task that you previously assigned to your executive sponsor? Here, you can visualize a timeline of to-dos specific to your account plan, what's coming, and even what's overdue. Lastly, files. Tired of sifting through emails, chats, and multiple tools to locate key customer documents? Me too. Streamline systems and introduce internal efficiency by making your CRM the source of truth. Here, you can upload key documents such as a 10K or link out to key assets such as a latest earnings call. Oh, and learn something interesting in that 10K or on the earnings call? Turn that into an initiative. More on this shortly. After working as a cohesive team to improve your overall health, now is the time to see if and where you have white space. Newly improved, it's never been easier to understand what products have been sold across what business units 
or regions. For example, in seconds, you can see where you're deployed in green, where you have open opportunities in yellow, and also visualize who's off market by understanding where your competitors have landed. Lastly, who's on market, AKA white space, where neither you nor your competitor have landed. Let's go ahead and unpack where you're deployed in the West. Here, you have a roll up view of closed one and closed loss dollar values, plus your open ARR and potential ARR. And lastly, the percentage market share you own compared to your competitors. Also, I have eyes on an initiative. An initiative is something your business can solve for and is aware that the customer could benefit from, let's say based on your 10K learning, but hasn't actively pursued yet. Once you're in pursuit, you'll want to lean in and turn this initiative into an open opportunity. This could be the scoop you needed to run at that white space in Canada. Now, that's how you transition from being viewed as a vendor to a consultative partner.